imagine that you could see a miniature version of the sun, but much darker and more mysterious, lurking in the night sky. And imagine that this mini sun was actually a black hole, one of the most extreme and fascinating objects in the universe. How would you feel? Curious? Scared? Excited? Well, let me tell you that astronomers have just found the closest known black hole to Earth, and it's hiding in plain sight among the stars of a familiar constellation. In this video, we will tell you all about this amazing discovery, how it was made, and what it means for our understanding of black holes and their role in the evolution of stars and galaxies. We will also show you how you can spot this black hole and its companion star with your own eyes or with a simple telescope. Yes, you heard that right. You can actually observe this black hole using a simple telescope, and we will tell you how to do it later in this video. So stay tuned, because this is a story that will blow your mind. Before we dive into the details of the discovery, let's first review some basics. Black holes come in different sizes and masses, depending on how they are formed. The smallest ones are called primordial black holes, and they are thought to have formed in the early moments of the universe, when density fluctuations were very high. These black holes could have masses ranging from a fraction of a gram to thousands of times that of Earth, but they are extremely rare and difficult to detect. The most common ones are called stellar mass black holes, and they have masses between 5 and 100 times that of the Sun. These black holes are formed by the death of massive stars, either by supernova explosions or direct collapse. The largest ones are called supermassive black holes, and they have masses between millions and billions of times that of the Sun. These black holes are found at the centers of most galaxies, including our own Milky Way, and they are believed to have grown over time by merging with other black holes or by accreting matter from their surroundings. The easiest way to detect a black hole is by looking for its effects on its environment. For example, if a black hole is close enough to another star or a cloud of gas, it can pull some material from it and form an accretion disk around itself. This disk rotates very fast and heats up to very high temperatures, emitting X-rays that can be detected by special telescopes. Another way to detect a black hole is by looking for its gravitational influence on other objects. For example, if a black hole is part of a binary system with another star or planet, it can cause periodic changes in their orbits or brightness that can be measured by precise instruments. A third way to detect a black hole is by looking for its gravitational lensing effect on the light coming from behind it. This effect occurs when the strong gravity of the black hole bends the space-time around it and acts like a lens that magnifies or distorts the images of distant objects. Now that we have some background on black holes and how they can be detected, let's talk about the discovery of Gaia BH1, the closest known black hole to Earth. Gaia BH1 is located about 1,560 light-years away from us in the constellation Taurus. That's about twice as close as the previous record holder, a 06200, which is about 3,200 light-years away. However, Gaia BH1 is part of a binary system with a star that is very similar to our Sun in size, mass, temperature, and brightness. The star orbits the black hole every 185 days at a distance of about 1.4 astronomical units, which is slightly larger than the distance between Earth and the Sun. The black hole has a mass of about 9.6 times that of the Sun. The discovery was made by using data from Gaia, a space mission launched by the European Space Agency in 2013. This telescope is mapping the positions, distances, motions, and properties of more than 2 billion stars in our galaxy with unprecedented accuracy and precision. By analyzing these data, astronomers learn more about the structure, history, and evolution of the Milky Way and its components. One of the stars that Gaia observed recently was the companion star of Gaia BH1. By looking at its motion in the sky and its radial velocity, the speed at which it moves towards or away from us, astronomers noticed some tiny irregularities that could not be explained by any other astrophysical scenario other than the presence of a black hole. To confirm this hypothesis, they used other ground-based telescopes, such as Gemini North and Keck-1 in Hawaii and Magellan Clay and MPG in Chile, to measure the spectrum and brightness of the star and to estimate its mass and radius. And they confirmed this remarkable discovery, 
and it's remarkable for several reasons. First, it is the first unambiguous detection of a sun-like star in a wide orbit around a stellar mass black hole in our galaxy. Previous claims of similar systems, such as LB1 or HR 6819, have been refuted or questioned by other studies. Second, it is the first detection of a black hole that does not depend on the mass of the star or the inclination of the orbit, which are usually sources of uncertainty or error. Third, it is the first detection of a black hole that does not involve any mass transfer or accretion disk, which are usually sources of emission or variability. Fourth, it is the first detection of a black hole that is based on astrometric data from Gaia, which opens up new possibilities for finding more black holes in the future. The discovery of Gaia BH-1 raises interesting questions for our understanding of black holes and their role in the evolution of stars and galaxies. For example, how did this system form and survive? One possibility is that the black hole and the star were born together from the same cloud of gas and dust and that they have remained bound by gravity ever since. Another possibility is that the black hole captured the star later on, either by chance or by exchanging partners with another binary system. In either case, how did they avoid merging or disrupting each other during their lifetime? How did they cope with the effects of tides, winds, supernova, and gravitational waves? Another question is, how common are systems like Gaia BH-1 in our galaxy and beyond? Astronomers estimate that there are about 100 million stellar mass black holes in the Milky Way, but most of them are invisible or undetectable. How many of them have companion stars like Gaia BH-1? How many of them are isolated or wandering around? How many of them are part of larger groups or clusters? How do they interact with each other and with their environment? How do they affect the formation and evolution of stars and galaxies? A third question is, how can we learn more about systems like Gaia BH-1 and their properties? What other methods or instruments can we use to detect them or measure their masses, distances, orbits, and spins? What kind of signals or signatures can they produce that we can observe or record? What kinds of models or simulations can we use to explain or predict their behavior or evolution? What kind of experiments or tests can we perform to verify or falsify our theories or hypotheses? These are some of the questions that astronomers are trying to answer with the help of Gaia BH, one and other similar systems that may be discovered in the future. By studying these systems, we can gain new insights into the nature and origin of black holes, one of the most mysterious and fascinating phenomena in the universe. Thank you for watching this video about Gaia BH-1, the closest known black hole to Earth. If you want to see this black hole for yourself, you can try to find it in the night sky with a simple telescope. Just look for the constellation Taurus, where you can also see another famous star cluster, the Pleiades. The companion star of Gaia BH-1 is about 14th magnitude, which means it is very faint, but still visible with some magnification. The black hole itself is invisible, but you can imagine it as a dark spot next to the star. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos about space and astronomy. And don't forget to leave a comment below with your thoughts or questions about Gaia BH-1 or black holes in general. We would love to hear from you. Until next time, keep looking up.